one problem in the front of you here, you don't have it yet, but can you look to this problem? In the front of you here, problem number 43. And tell me what do you think? The, the answer for this question, talking about redundancy. You don't have it, you don't have this question, you don't have it. Just, I need to The first thing that when you read a problem about redundancy, first of all, he gave you the seismic design category F. The seismic design category F is one of the serious seismic design categories, which is the worst one, in fact, as I mentioned before. This is the first thing that I will be attention to, the Southern category. Number two, he mentioned this is moment resisting frame or a special steel moment resisting frame. That means that I am able to count the number of bays. The height is given, the height is given to be 25 feet. The height has nothing to do with the problem because for the redundancy, we look to the number of bays. And the most important, the direction of the analysis. Direction. Something is very important, direction of analysis. On the exam, they will tell you what is the direction of the analysis. But in real life, when we design, a structure we consider both orthogonal directions and pick the, the most severe one. But, but for the sake of the exam, he must specify one direction because you don't have time to analyze the structure in all directions. Okay. Here he gave you the seismic force. This seismic force is coming this way. Here it is, W, whatever is WS, 300 pounds per linear foot, a distributed load. And he said that the middle frame is carrying one third, the second middle frame is one third, and this is one six, and this is one six. In fact, we are going to see this later on in our analysis. Something is called, and I'm sure that you heard this term before in your undergraduate, something we call it a tributary area. A tributary area. What is a tributary area? One of the analysis that permitted by the code is to get the load distributed based on the tributary area. This is 40 feet, and this is 40 feet, and this is 40 feet. 
that means that this frame here is going to carry half of the width from here to here this is the responsibility of this frame which is 20 feet from here and 20 feet from here and the same story with the frame next to it so the middle frames the middle frames they are going to carry what half from this width here and half from this width here but the exterior ones this frame here which is carrying only one six and one six why because this frame our side frame is carrying only this frame is carrying only this area this contribute and this is the same story here is carrying this area only here so basically we have four frames okay the two middle ones they are carrying the the larger width which is 20 feet on each side so 20 and 20 so this is 40 and 40 but the exterior frames they are going to the outside frames or the exterior frames they are carrying only half of the load and this is why you'll find that one third and one third and these two they are carrying one third so this will give me the total force this is called the tributary area and we're going to talk about this before okay i'll talk more sorry in in, in the chapter nine when we're talking about shear walls one philosophy is given by the code is a tributary area or one design method is called the tributary area and this is very obvious it's just to, just to this is not required for the problem yet all this just okay i needed to be aware of the direction of the analysis which is required the height has not to do i just throw how did you come up with v over three v over three and v over six and v over six which is the total v if this is the total v okay which is the total force which is a 300 times 300 times one two hundred and twenty this will give me the total which is the total is 300 times 120 feet which is the total width because here the load is given in balance per linear foot and we can get the load that carried by each frame by itself so this is the direction of the analysis If you read the four possible answers, and I need you to remember this, a process of elimination, a process of elimination. What is the process of elimination? You eliminate the answers, it does not make any sense. Some problems, they have some they give you answers it does not make any sense i just mentioned before the break that the new code the row either one or 1.3 there is nothing in between so there are two answers should be out 1.5 and 1.1 so far so good and this is what the way i needed to handle it with other similar situations by the way there are some answers does not make any sense so the process of elimination but it will not make it will not make any sense why because you know that because you study because it's not or lack no the process of elimination will work only if we prepared ourselves because i know the code does not allow 1.1 or 1.5 at least if you have one minute left and they told you okay one minute left and and you don't know but i know 1.1 so at least i can pick one 50 50 and the pray to god that you pick the right one and instead of 25 percent because if if i don't know the concept of draw i i will pick one and that's it but this one out of four but here i'm picking one out of two 50 50 is much better chance and may god accept your prayer and your pass and so i left with one or 1.3 so which answer is the correct one the answer is a that's it because in the direction of the analysis i have only one bay but in this direction here in this direction here how many bays i have i have one two and three three bays if I take this, if the load is coming from this direction.
makes sense okay they might ask you this is an easy one but the problem that you are going to see later on that he will give you a shear wall by the way uh, let me let me take it back let me take it back let me uh, focus on one thing sorry let me focus on one thing no i was wrong i was wrong i was wrong so let me I, I was talking about a different problem in my head sorry the, in the direction of the analysis how many bays we have we have one bay one bay what the code said at least two that means that the answer is c by the way i'm sorry i was thinking about another problem so the answer is c not a let me take it back okay if the direction of the analysis in this direction here so i have a three bays that means that i exceeding two and in this case the answer will be a so if there, this was the moment i draw it i realize that I, I so the answer is because in this direction i have only one bay okay which is this with you one bay okay if you take this direction here the number of bays what is the what is a bay a bay is the space between two parallel frames do you remember the definition a bay is the space between two parallel frames here i have only one bay in the direction of the analysis so the answer is 1.3 okay so i'm sorry for that okay that the, I, I just realized when i uh, when i draw that okay if they give you a wall give you a wall even the answer in front of me but okay a wall so in this we look to this as l sub w and this is the h sub s okay and the number of bays for shear walls because we cannot count frames we can count but the number of bays as given in the code the number of bays is equal to the l sub w over h sub s or 2 l sub w times h sub s if it is light framed construction light framed construction this is i need you to be aware of that and you will see a problem some problems like this is not a frame is going to be so they are saying that if the number of bays and the criteria here is two by the way as our friend said okay that at least two of the seismic of okay so in this case and each story carrying 35 but don't don't worry too much about it the here i need you to focus on the number of bays this is what you might see on the exam okay this is one thing yes please or in order to use 1.3, if neither condition A or B are not met, okay, on top of the table right here, on top of the page, there's a table. Yes. Okay. Neither condition A or B are not met. Right now, we only consider either B right now, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, here it is. The, it is 1.3 if neither A or B are not met. Okay, we use 1.3, which is the number of bays. Number number of bays is B. Okay. Number A is the resistance of the story, each story. But this is only one story building. So I cannot analyze anything because only one story. So the one story is carrying the entire force. Oh, 
But this, but in this case, you have to analyze each story, how much story will carry each load. He has to give it to you. And this is what I was telling you, that if you are given two story, and after that, the force, you have to analyze and see how much each story is carrying and apply the item A, which I doubt that you will not do that on the exam. That's correct. And, uh, that's correct. That's correct. But as I told you, it will take too much time for analyze, analyzing. If you give you two stories or three stories to get the force, is not going to be okay. I never heard about that. Okay, so because this will be time consuming. That's what I meant. But I, 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 the focus is on the number of days. And okay, and in here I have only one story. So the one story is carrying the entire force, 100 percent. Okay, so it's carrying. Okay, so. Uh, 100%, which is the uh, more than, okay, the uh, 25, uh, 35.